get our electricity from the sun through our solar system. It's great when it works, but even a solar system as simple as the one we have was complicated enough to be temperamental. Extremely. Extremely. You never knew when you flip that switch whether the light was going to come on or not, or stay on or not. <laughs> So we've, got, we've gotten a lot of really interested questions about our oil lamp since our last episode and we just wanted to make a couple of things visible for people who are interested in it or worried about it. So the, this lamp is an olive oil lamp, so it burns olive oil. We use the same oil for our salads as for our oil, oil lamp. Um, and while you might think, my goodness, that must be so expensive, um, this lamp doesn't actually burn that much oil, even when we leave it on for hours in the evening and in the early morning light. So we use olive oil in it? Yes. And olive oil is not flammable, not combustible? Yeah. Not combustible, I think that's the term. So here I have this match, which I'm going to ins extinguish with some of the oil on this plate. Olive oil lamps, they were used widely in the ancient world, but they're also possibly a wonderful solution for the future. Olive oil is a 99% pure renewable fuel, produces almost no soot or smoke, and it's not flammable, so completely safe. As the wick soaks up the oil and burns, the longer it's lit, it begins to fray at the top. So when you light it the next day, you need to pinch off or cut off a portion of the wick. If it's a higher quality wick, pinching usually does fine for several days. Um, if it's a lower quality one, you have to cut it every day and sometimes multiple times during a single burn. We spend a lot of our days making small adjustments. We trim the wick, we trim the sails, we're sort of in a constant process of trimming our stuff profile and our needs. It's a kind of unifying theme in our life aboard. These are two different kinds of wicks that we have used. The wicks in the bag that are very thin and tightly woven are from Layman's and they're just the pack of 12 wicks for olive oil lamps. The description says they are eighth inch wicks this was also sold on Amazon as an eighth inch wick, and you can see they're quite different in their sizes. They do both work. This one fits, but barely. Um, it's a cheaper wick, and we went through about three or four times as much wick while we were burning it, and also at least twice, if not three times as much oil for a flame that actually wasn't even as bright. It wasn't as clean as the layman's wick. But the thinner wicks, we put it up through the metal coil and we tuck it into the coil on the side so that it's held up in place. It, it's too small to be held up by the coil itself. When you light an oil lamp, as opposed to turning on multiple LED lights, you don't banish the night from the interior, but the night comes into the boat and there's a fluidity between the atmosphere in the boat and the nighttime outside of it. Living with an oil lamp has had the unexpected effect of making me less afraid of the dark, less afraid of the night outside and the dark water all around us. You're sort of living in and with the dark instead of against it. If you'd like to learn more or are interested in purchasing one of these lovely little lamps, check out the links in our description below. Join us next week. We'll be back with a full-length episode about learning to sail in our dinghy.